In this video, I'm going to show you how to share access to your MailChimp account. Okay, real quick, I'm just going to show you why this is important. Um, a lot of people just will give me their username and password and say, go into my account and get whatever information you need. Well, if you do that, what happens is, at least nowadays, is when you go to log in, I'm going to try to log into someone's account, you're going to get a page that looks like this. This is pretty common these days, but I have no way of verifying anything through someone else's email. So now we're stuck, right? So what you want to do is give access to somebody so they can log into your account without having to go through a verification page that sends someone else the verification info. All right, so let's just add a user to an account. All right, we're going to go back to the login page here. And we're going to use my account here. So we're just going to log in. And already they're asking me to verify, but that just came to my phone. So let me type that in. Now, once you're logged in, you simply just want to go to your account page. And that's down here at the bottom. You'll see your user icon. You can just click on that. You're going to see account. Go ahead and click on account. Once here under settings, you're going to see the ability to add users. Simply click on users. And over here on the users page, you can see a way to invite a user. Now, when you invite a user, you want to make sure that um, if they already have a MailChimp account, that you're inviting them using the email address that's associated with that MailChimp account. If not, they'll have to create a new MailChimp account. Um, and at which point, it's pretty self-explanatory. Type in the email address of the person you're inviting. Give them the access that they are going to require that they need. Maybe send a message to them like, hey, John, here's the email access to MailChimp for you. Um, let me know if you have any questions and then send that invite and it'll go right to their inbox. Once you do that and they uh, accept the invite, when you go back to the user area, you're going to see that you actually have a second user here. And it's as simple as that. So if you're trying to have a developer or uh, maybe a coworker access your mailing list, simply go to invite user and that's how you do it. And then um, provide the email and the access that you want them to have so that they can get the information and do the work that they need to do. Okay, great. If you have any questions, just post them in the comments below. Thanks.